uh, he, he did a pretty good job of um, highlighting things. You know, sometimes you, can, you may always look at the negative and fail to see the, the positive movement that things have happened. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, in terms of, especially when you think about uh, uh, the cost of living, uh, the fact that we have plenty of maize in the country now, mm -hmm. so with that, people would say that, uh, uh, you know... Uh, things are working. Uh, things are working. Um, with regard to the debt situation, mm. I think, uh, did he promise that uh, the euro bond will be paid? He it did. must be paid because right. that is money that, month. that is borrowed by, from uh, individual people in mm. Europe. Eh? You cannot uh, renege on that right. and uh, continue to be a country. Right. Um, uh, and I think it, it is important. Otherwise, Kenya would become a failed state. Right. Uh, but the state of uh, debt. Just, just on that, mm. how much of a confidence boost both to the government itself and to the image of Kenya abroad, would it be for that debt to be paid, as promised, next month? Very half important. A billion, half a trillion shillings. Very important. Very important in terms of confidence. Remember, uh, you know, uh, where we are now, we are back, in my view, to where we were during the days of Moy. Oh, is that so? In that, we waited for the meeting of the Bretton Woods. Uh, mm, the Paris, the IMF, everybody so knew on. the Paris Club. Uh, you know, they are meeting, the IMF is meeting. We are in a scenario where... Uh, the structural Kenya, adjustments. Kenya will need to be able to borrow from multilateral donors mm. to be able to survive through this difficult period uh, that we are going through. And therefore, uh, if, you, if, if you don't pay the euro bond, then you not mm. get in a bailout or right. a, whatever. So it's important. That boost is very important. And considering that these debts can be long term, so whatever it takes, the debt should be paid mm -hmm. because uh, it will help the country All survive. Right. But the thing is, mm -hmm. um, uh, on the local scene, you know that uh, the government is borrowing a lot also. So there is mm -hmm. little money available for business people. Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, we wish they pay and then they get money from out there and leave the local money to business yes. so that we get back to work. Yes. Mm. So th there are some that are drawing a connection, and I was just looking at some of the points here, uh, connection between the state of Kenya, the, the uh, state of Kenya as a country in terms of our debt crisis and everything, and the state of common households. There are millions of people in CRB listed because of defaulting on loans. There are millions of people still who are every day or every week borrowing just to, to be able to put food on the table or to be able to run their businesses or educate their children and so on and so on. Enough could be said that maybe the speech, the speech and, and all the issues therein are quite dense and people need a few days to digest all of that. I want to call upon you, uh, because I've, I'm told we, we're running out of time, I want to call upon you to cast into the future. Talk to me about what you expect to hear in the next State of the Nation address, in terms of what do you think will have shifted or should have shifted by the time of the next State of the Nation address in 2024? God willing, we're here. Now, let's say this. Uh, the president is very eloquent. He says the right things. If what he said were done, because the real gap is between what he says mm. and what is done. I believe Mr. Malema pointed that out as well. If what he said, even half of it could be done, the next uh, State of the Nation address, one year from now, uh, it should be an account of, mm -hmm. of businesses have now uh, come back. Recovered and everything. Uh, the the people's, people are able to travel because yes. the cost of fuel is lower people now. Have, low, yeah. Yeah, well, even if it was not lower, if people have more income. Right then they could be able to afford. But, but quickly, please. Yes. Uh, what needs to be done to, to have uh, the promises achieved? What, what, what needs to be done? Where is the disconnect between what is said and what is done? That